Because of the uh, different nature of the top 16, with an uh, increased number of games, uh, I think that it's, it's very important to uh, naturally to, to win games and to be consistent in the things that you're doing, but never lose sight of the fact that it's much more of a league now than it was uh, just a, a short qualifying tournament. Uh, and, and that's a good thing. Uh, it's an exciting thing and uh, it's a very challenging one because you have to maintain balance in, in everything that you do physically, uh, professionally and, and mentally in order to make it through 14 games in a successful way. Well, those are two uh, very interesting and uh, exciting games that could have gone either way in both cases. Uh, you know, I think that, that Siena is, uh, is a dangerous team for anyone to play because of the kind of things that they can do offensively and the fact that they have a, a good and deep roster with, with good players at every position. Uh, they're well coached and, and they have a, a very uh, strong tradition here. Uh, so, I, you know, I think you just got to be ready for the, for the many things that they can throw at you and to, uh, to play every play because they're not going to let you rest. And Maccabi leads the league in uh, PIR evaluation, which is the overall evalu evaluation of all the categories. So this is one of the things that makes this such a, an interesting game. You know, two very uh, strong and potent teams at the offensive end of the court. And, and, and I think that uh, uh, defensively, we've managed at, at times to, to slow our opponents. And we're going to have to do that with uh, with Siena, Bobby obviously is a focal point for them. He's having a great season, uh, is a leader in many categories, but he's not the whole story of that team. You know, I, I think the, the fact that they have so many shooters and so many uh, offensive weapons, um, you know, it makes it a challenge for anyone to play them. Well, obviously a lot. They're a great three-point shooting team. They shoot a lot, they make a lot, and they uh, are capable of doing it from a number of different positions. They have great guard uh, shooters, but they also have lineups that they play with five three-point shooters on the court at any one time, including their power forward and would-be center uh, when Thomas Ress is playing uh, as a five. So uh, you're not going to find many teams anywhere that have that kind of three-point shooting capability, and it is a factor in any game. I'm not sure it can tomorrow, because Darko just came in and has practiced with the team uh, only twice. But he's a bright kid, and, and he's picked some things up very quickly. Obviously, you don't want to throw too, too much at a guy when he just comes in. Uh, he's also a young player, 22, but a very talented one, and I believe down the line he'll help us. How much he can help us in the next game or two, I'm, I'm not really sure, but, uh, but we'll see, and we'll play it accordingly. I'm very happy that the EuroLeague uh, decided to make this change. I, I think it's bringing... Uh, a lot more quality games to our to our fans, to our viewers, to the, to the basketball community. I think it's fantastic for the players that they have the opportunity to play against so many of the other teams as opposed to the former system where you may only see uh, three teams in the top 16 and that's it, you're done. Uh, without question, it's going to require on the part of the coaches and the players uh, a special kind of uh, uh, approach, uh, both physically and mentally and psychologically, and I, and I think, again, the most important thing is the consistency of what you do week to week uh, in order to maintain a high level. The competition is going to be great, and the uh, ability to get through this will, will, will show what teams truly are the, the best teams this year in Europe.